Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be installing rear saddleback guards and drop guards on my 2023 Road King Special. So without wasting too much time, let's take a look at the parts. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, I already took the liberty of taking everything out of the boxes to save some time. So on the left, uh, basically the, the bag uh, guards consist of two pieces. You have the actual uh, bag guard itself here and then a bottom support piece comes with uh, new rubber bushings and uh, a couple of bolts that put these two pieces together and then on the right we have actual uh, drop guards um, so the two little ones here they are for the rear uh, back guards this goes on the for the primary uh, protection and these go on the front uh, mustache engine guards all right so let's go ahead and uh, get uh, the bed guards installed first and then we'll do the drop guards. Alright, so first things first, uh, let's go ahead and remove the saddlebags, the seat and side covers. Alright, so to get this removed, you basically have to uh, remove five bolts. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Quick note, uh, this long bolt that goes right uh, in the front, it's pretty long. Uh, if you want to make your life easier, if you see those two bolts right there, you can loosen them up. So this is a little bit, uh, it's got a little bit more wiggle room. I was able to bend it enough because, I mean, it is fairly flexible to get it out, but it is very, very tight. All right, let's keep going. Alright guys, one bag guard's installed. Alright again, remember one, two, three, four, five, and obviously six. Alright, let's go ahead and repeat it on the other side.
right guys, uh, both sides uh, back guards have been installed. Let's go ahead and install the drop guards. Let's start with the front. So hopefully this will focus. Um, basically what you have here is, and let me unscrew this. So you have a bolt, uh, a lock nut. Um, And same thing on the other side, but basically you have a uh, rubber gasket so you don't get it scratched up. Same thing, you get a small rubber gasket on the other side. Um, the way this will go on, it's not going to go completely on the bottom because if the bike will drop, it's actually going to land right around this area. So this is literally where it's going to go. So kind of play around a little bit with the location. It should not be here. It should be more along the lines of here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's not completely on the bottom because uh, for obvious reason, if the bike does fall, it's not going to fall here. It's going to fall right around this area. Okay. Um, yeah, so that way, if it does fall, when you do slow, uh, slow speed maneuvers or, you know, just happen to, to drop the bike, um, the damage will be minimal simply because the drop guards will take all the impact and not your actual engine guard. All right, let's go ahead and install the uh, same on the um, back guard. Okay, so here we go, the rear drop guard installed, as you can see it's slightly slanted forward but if you look straight it's actually pretty much uh, parallel to the body of the bike and again it's not completely on the bottom, it's slightly to the side because that's where the majority of the head would actually take if it was to drop. All right. And I just went ahead and installed uh, the bag just for a test fit. Um, and as you can see, there's space between the bag and, uh, and the bolt. Okay. And again, if it was to drop, the bag will be safe. Alright, let's go ahead and install it on the other side. Right, and last but not least, uh, the primary um, protecting plate goes right here. These two bolts will be removed. They provide you with a longer bolt right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get that done.
right, guys. So that was a quick and easy install of uh, saddlebag guards and drop guards. So that will do it for today. If uh, this video was useful to some of you, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more install videos, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.